Hey guys, John the Man here. Uh, another episode of Who is Better. This time it will be Royal Decree versus Jinzo. Yes, Royal Decree versus Jinzo. Two somewhat popular cards, especially Royal Decree at least. Uh, Jinzo used to be a great card back then, but Royal Decree, until it came out, was not, of course, was not played as much as Jinzo. And Jinzo, in some cases, can is still played to this day, not in big mini meta decks, but he is in mostly anti-meta because of his, you know, anti-effect of negating traps, of course. So first I'll explain real quick what both these do. If you don't know, Jinzo, he, once he's on the field, he negates all traps and any from being activated while he's on the field. That is face up, of course, so he has to be face up for it to apply. Royal Decree, it negates all traps currently on the field, except for this one. And if any are activated while this is on the field, they will not resolve. So remind that, or remember that part. So first, two, or sorry, cards that would negate or destroy in this case any of these two cards. Snipe Hunter, he's commonly because he or common to the fact that he can destroy any of these cards in general, and he's not negated by any of them. So Snipe Hunter for the win there. Cards that destroy Jinzo, Smashing Ground, Fissure, uh, Lightning Vortex, two probable cards. Um, cards that will not work against Jinzo though sadly would be Sec Roots Armor or Dimensional Prison because he already negates all traps and any from being activated. So these two would not work. Um, also a monster that would, or at least one of the few monsters that can destroy Jinzo by, without battling would be Exiled Force. Just troop this card and destroy Jinzo. Just like that. Cards that would destroy Royal Decree. Heavy Storm, Twister, uh, mystical Space Typhoon, uh, Giant Trini, which would bounce back to the hand. Uh, Seven Tools of the Bandit, this is a cheap version of Sound Judgment, so to speak, um, would destroy and would negate and then destroy the card. So, because if this is activated and this is on the field, you know, negate and destroy. Uh, Dust Tornado, um, ones that would not, or one that would not work against Royal Decree would be Malevolent Catastrophe, um, but the other one that would work would be Fairy Wind. This is a newer card, Fairy Wind. Um, so, reasons why when leveling catastrophe will not work. When your opponent attacks you and they also have Royal Decree face down, but you have this on your side of the field, you flip, and uh, what happens is if they chain this, this will not resolve because it resolves backwards then. So this would say, okay, no traps are working now, this is dead. This is offline. Well, if your opponent, let's say you activate, let's say a mirror force, and your opponent attacks you. Um, your point chains Royal Decree. Now, uh, I don't have Mirror Force, so sorry about that, but anyways, point, you activate Mirror Force, your point chains this. You can chain stuff if, as long as it's it's chainable, or the spell speed's right. So you say, I chain Furry Wind. Okay, it destroys it, this is no longer in the field, it's not part of that chain anymore, Mirror Force destroys your opponent's monsters. Um, now, it would also work with Dust Tornado or Seven Tools of the Bandit as well. So it would work with those as long as you have them higher up on the chain. So if this is like chain link 2 and you chain this for chain link 3, since it resolves backwards, this would be destroyed or whatever, you know, what happens. So that's what happens there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's all of them. Alright, then uh, a monster that would also destroy Real Decree would be Breaker. Probably, you know, perfect example otherwise. Um, he's almost as playable as Jinzo, but you know, not as much. So, but he is playable only better to the fact that he can be summoned and use his effect same turn. So, uh, cards to retrieve the, the cards once they're in the graveyard. While well, Jinzo, you can use Monster Incarnation, Pot of Avarice, or Call the Haunted. Uh, both prime example, or all these are good examples. For Jinzo. Now you're probably wondering, now wait a minute, how would Jinzo work with Call the Haunted? Okay, there's been a ruling ever since Jinzo and Call the Haunted were tried to be used together. When Jinzo's in the graveyard, your opponent, let's say, plays Heavy Storm. You have Call the Haunted, you chain, say, I'm bringing Jinzo back. Alright, he's on the field, but this is destroyed. Now what happens? Is Jinzo just goes with it, or does he stay? The fact is, he stays. So, if you bring Jinzo back with Call the Haunted, Jinzo wins in that battle. And 
call on it, it just simply just goes away without any effect to destroying him. So he just stays on the field. Um, one that would bring back Rua Decree, sadly, will only be Mask of Darkness. So it's only one, sadly, you know, that I have at least at the time. So uh, let's see. Um, cards these are good against, or these two are good against, our examples would be Skill Drain or like Royal Oppression. Um, I don't have Mirror Force at the moment, but they're still good against that too. Uh, really good, for example, that they're both anti to some decks, and is, which is a purpose for these two sometimes, is to be anti get em, or ant, or, ah, the opposite of ah, anti, and I can't remember that, but supposed to be the opposite of these two, so it is negate them. Now there's also a ruling of Skill Drain and Jinzo. Now what happens if Skill Drain is on the field before Jinzo, and Jinzo summon? Well, in Jinzo summon, this says, okay, he's now face up, he's now negated. But, to remind you, if Jinzo's on the field, this cannot be activated, so it doesn't matter in that part. So I'll remind you that that won't work. So, you gotta be careful of that. But there's also another ruling people sometimes tend to forget. And that is what happens when Jinzo summon and I play bottomless. Alright, so this won't happen at all only because once Jinzo's on the field, no trap cards can be activated. And it says when your opponent summons a monster with 15 injury attack or more, it's just to destroy that monster. But you can only activate this once a monster summoned. But once he's summoned, all traps are no good anymore. So, um, so the choice is Royal Decree or Jinzo. Um, and there's also a minier version called Trap Stun, which is a one turn type of negative trap. And it's almost as good as these two when you don't want to have to be a. when you are a somewhat of a trap reliant deck, but you don't want to risk running these two because you don't want to have that, you know part where you have to then run Royal Decree, so. Um, remember that guys, those little ruins I taught you, that's why I try to do in each one is the ruins and also show you which one is better, so. Now it's your choice guys of which two would you rather pick, Jinzo or Royal Decree, so it's your choice. That's pretty much it guys, uh, keep your requests for coming, um, I'll do them as long as I have the cards, if I don't have the cards then I will not do that video right away. I'll try to get the cards, but you know, remember that. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it, guys, for this episode. I missed last week, so I'm sorry. Um, stuff just happens, so um, pretty much it, guys, and peace.